Hello, people. I'm back again. The tool I'm looking at today uh, is called UIZ Wizard. Uh, it's a useful tool if you need to basically create UI assets. You do some UX design, you do wireframing. This drag and drop feature works really well. It's not that clunky. And if you're generally a bit of a noob, design noob, or a seasoned designer or wireframe or UX uh, person, it could actually work quite well. But in essence, uh, this AI tool will leave UI designers unemployed because it's that good. Okay, that was a lie. It won't leave anyone unemployed because it has some quirks that need to be addressed. However, it does work generally okay. It does some pretty crazy stuff with its um, generative AI mock-up design, which we can run into today. Um, but here are essentially three examples of designs uh, you can generate with their auto designer tool, which is pretty cool, but also a little bit crazy. Let's get into it. So, uh, first prompt I created. So, use simple text to generate your project using Wizards AI powered auto designer. So, we're going to try and do it for mobile. Um, in my prompt, I said, I have a YouTube channel where I review AI tools. Uh, I'd like a landing page that collects leads for my newsletter and talks about what I do, the importance of being up to date, which it is. Uh, useful tools, blah, 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 blah. And then you can give it a design style. So Twitter style, modern SaaS UI. And let's see what it does. Generate my project. Auto design is only available for pro and business plans. Excuse me? It's a beta. This worked the other day. I don't understand. This definitely worked. Login. Back. Generate with auto designer. Okay, well, it's gone from being free to not being free. So we won't be reviewing it today. That's very odd. You can use templates and stuff. It's pretty cool. But it's very strange that they've now moved that tool to free only. It's drag and drop feature is really cool. Yeah. Let's not uh, review that 